turn 21. Sure. Let's go with the tutorial. Tutorials. Opening a tutorial panel will pause the game so that you can read its contents at your leisure. Hints can or, sorry. Hints can also be found outside the tutorial panels. When you initiate a new quest, the text beneath the minimap on the right screen will tell you what to do. Pay close attention to the tutorial panels appearing on the screen. You can close and restore them at any time. The tutorial panels contain instructions you should follow and identify keys or buttons you need to press. Okay. So what button do I need to press right now? That one. Gotcha. Cameras and controls. Right thumbstick rotates the camera to look around and select targets during combat. Left stick controls your character using keyboard or your controller stick. The speed of your movement depends on how far you tilt the stick. Damned leaky boat. My boots are soaked. Yet another boggy shithole. Damn, I look pretty pimp. Right stick to scan the area, find the corpse on the ground, use L to approach it. Picking up loot, X. Stand next to a container and press X. Press the applicable key, in my case X, to collect all the items inside. Hint, approach containers to bring up window, displaying the four most valuable items inside. Approach the corpse and press X to collect the items you find. Inventory. Open inventory panel to browse through items Geralt has acquired. Some items may be equipped, facilitating their use. Uh, for A, L button, right button. Sort items by category to browse through them more efficiently. Y, drop items and remove them from the inventory. Press start to open the main panel. Then select the inventory by pressing A, read the notice you found, and replace your wet boots with dry ones. Inventory. Boots. Squirrel's boots. Tournament in Grand Arena. Warriors of the world, knights, gladiators, soldiers, and armed ladies. The Grand Arena, famous throughout the north, has the site of ultimate combat trials. Opens its gates before you. Demonstrate your courage and sword skills. Claim the glory of the coin due to true heroes. Those acknowledged as worthy in the tournament will receive an invitation enabling them to enter the Grand Arena and win eternal fame. General update. The journal has been updated. Open the view. Open it to view a full description of the quest. Hint to track quests on the minimap. Mark it in your journal. You may only track one quest at a time. Let's go ahead to the journal. Quests. Which is here. Tutorials. Cameras. Pick and move inventory. Journal update. So we got a bunch of different things in here. So the swallow. Aether, Rebus, basic substance required. A Xenarchanian invention, Semum, found its way north thanks to the merchant that was later adopted by the witchers. The bomb stuns and immobilizes. Oh, Samum. I thought it was on Swallow. Sorry. Stuns and immobilize all creatures within range, rendering them defenseless against the witcher's blade. This bomb is ineffective against creatures resistant to stunning. Okay. Move towards the quest objective. A short hint can be found under the minimap of the right screen. Follow the path through the forest. That sounds creepy. Character interaction. Press X to talk to characters. Point the camera at him or her and press the optical button. Who are you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Daryl, bitches. You let me look at your wounds. Odd. You don't resemble a traveling preacher. Oh, damn the dogs, it hurts to talk. I wager my arm is the only thing keeping me in one piece. I'll find some help. Futile, I'm afraid. 
Around here, folk don't open their doors to strangers. You would do well to find my squire. I'd like to thrash his hide for fleeing from those corpse eaters. Consider it my final wish. I found his body by the river. He did. Listen, let me brew you a health potion. You're no witcher, so it could kill you. But if I'm not mistaken, you already think you're dead. There's a slim chance that your body will quell the toxins and regenerate. Yeah, let's not poison I'll him. expire in this hole before I let someone turn me into a mutant. That's not how you it works. You won't turn to a mutant, you jackass. Stay calm and lie still. I need to find some herbs. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Quest tracking. You have begun a new quest phase. Your objective is marked on the mini-map in the upper right corner of the screen. The yellow marker indicates your current objective for the quest being tracked. Press the select to open the journal to view the list of active quests. A to select the quest you wish to track. You can only track one quest at a time. Go to the place indicated on the mini-map and find the plant you need to prepare the potion. Gather herbs. Use the medallion to detect nearby containers. Herbs, monsters, place the power and threats. L to use medallion, simply press the corresponding key. Once it's used, the medallion must recharge before it can be activated again. Press down left stick to use your medallion. Cool. Let's go ahead and pick those. And we'll pick some more flowers. This is already so much better than The Witcher 1. For alchemy wise. There we go. Alchemy. To prepare a potion bomb or blade oil, you must have both the formula detailing its composition as well as the ingredients containing the substance listed in the formula. Mixtures can only be prepared while meditating. Formula, formulae and ingredients can be purchased from shopkeepers or found in various locations. Ingredients can also be harvested from plants and carved from monsters' corpses. Press the left trigger to bring up the quick menu. Select central icon to begin meditation. Alright, here we go. Alchemy! Formula for healing brew. Potion accelerates vitality. Regeneration, vitality regeneration plus one. Duration 10, toxicity 25, costs 0 orange and weighs 0 0.2. Let's go ahead and create the potion. Let's go give it to this douchey douchebag. That's not what I want it to do. Hey, buddy. Here's your potion. Knock back this potion. Try not to vomit. Drink it. You're still alive, so that bodes well. But you've got a ways to go before you're at full health. Now you have to sit and wait. You're no mutant, so it'll be a couple of days before you recover and we can get you out of here. Thank you, Witcher. Uh, hallowed Creeve! Didn't have the chance earlier. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Bolton of Ironfoot. Alrighty. What happened here? Get well, I've gotta go. Hell no. Um... What I happened here? I wanted to try my luck in the arena. But some corpse eaters surprised me. My horse reared and I came crashing down in full armor. They pounced upon me with their claws. Though broken, I managed to drive them off and crawl here. Pitiful story, but there it is. Hmm. That could mean some paid work for me. Doubtful. If the corpses weren't eaten, they would rot, emit a stench, and breed pestilence. Ah! Oh, damn the dogs! Damn the dogs! Those who fall in the arena, their bodies are cast into the ravine. The dead offer little in terms of diversion, I'm afraid. Except perhaps to monsters. Oh, gotta go! Get well, Bolton of Ironford. And farewell. You must take my invitation. If but half of what I've heard about witches is true, you ought to manage well in the arena. Thanks, Bolton. We'll see. I thank Get you. Get kicking in. And now, Geralt of Rivia, if you've no objection, I would finally like to get some sleep. Go for it, buddy. Go for it. Oh, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't sleep out here. I now have an invitation to the arena locating town. Go there and take part in the tournament. Charge! 
I guess I can't go in those uh, doors. I have to go in this door. Who stalks the night? Be gone, cursed soul, or I'll stick the hounds on you! Got corpse eaters on this side, so I'll take your hounds any day. A jester, eh? You're all jesters. You all think you're droll till you enter the arena. No room for joking around in there! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm soaked and I'm freezing. Let me in. Aha! A vampire! I'll not let a bloodsucker in. Oh no! I've got eels and garlic here. What do you say to that? I'll gladly submit to the eels and garlic trial, and the running water trial, and the beer trial. Who knows what you are? Evil crawls the night, corrupting the righteous. <laughs> I'll wait for morn for the cock to crow. Oh, if the God. rising Stab sun don't man. scare you off, I'll let you in. You want me to wait here? You there. You son of a bitch. All right. Let's find a place to rest. Fuck a place to rest. Let's go stab that asshole in the face. Meditation. Meditate to predetermined hour instead of waiting. In the meditation pan, select the option to meditate until dawn. Meditate until dawn. Alright. Sun is up. Let me in, fucker. Still there, foul son. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm still here. And the cock has crowed. As far as being foul, well, I may smell a bit. Has it got an invitation? It has. Then it may enter. It Good has. luck to it. Has it has a in sword to arena. show up your ass, too. Douchey. Welcome to the Witcher Training. This section of the tutorial is designed to acquaint you with combat basics. You will need to complete several tasks after which your newly learned abilities will be tested. Left on the D-pad to draw my steel sword. Right on the D-pad to draw my silver sword. Use the same keys to sheath your swords. Alright, rotate the camera towards your opponent you want to attack. Focus on the chosen foe and mark him with left button. Your ult will attack until your foe dies or you select another target. Move the camera to select your current combat target. Place the sight of each of the poet as they are highlighted. Aim at the fat opponent. Hello, fatty. Armored. Oh shit, X to mount a fast attack. Y to mount a strong attack. Right, that was pretty shitty, I think. Pairing, dodging, and reposts. Slow opponents mount strong attacks, while swift opponents mount weaker but more frequent attacks. Fighting either requires dodging <laughs> and parrying. Keep in mind that parrying only reduces the damage Geralt receives rather than eliminating it entirely. You cannot parry magic attacks, dodge them, or cast sign to protect yourself from them. Vigor. Vigor is represented by the yellow bar in the upper left corner of the screen. Vigor drops every time you parry an opponent's strike or cast a sign. Low Vigor will prevent you from casting designs so it will not limit your, your ability to parry. Vigor re regenerates over time, drink posts and accelerate this process. Vigor affects the damage you deal to foes. When developing your character, you can increase the maximum Vigor points available to your character. Parry your opponent's attack by pressing and holding the right before he strikes. A to dodge your opponent's attack. That was weak. 
Repost. Counter your opponent's attack with the repost to repost. Hold down the parry key and attack. When the repost marker appears on your foe. Outside of the tutorial repost, you must first acquire the related ability in the character development tree. Each time you cast a sign, you lose one point of vigor. Vigor is represented by the yellow bar in the upper left corner of the screen. Low vigor prevents you from casting signs. Vigor regenerates over time. Drink potions to accelerate this process. The art sign can knock down or stun your foe, allowing you to finish him off with a single blow. Use art to weaken opponents equipped it with a shield. Press B. Yeah! Critical effects. In addition to dealing regular damage, Carol and his foes can inflict critical effects in combat. The additional effects induced by attacks remain active for a certain time. The stun and knockdown effects all allow Geralt to finish off opponents instantly. Some foes are immune to selected effects. Look at the top of the screen to see the effects dealt to Geralt. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, suck it! Quick menu. I'll bring up the quick menu to select the sign. Press and hold the quick menu button. Select. Uh, press and hold the quick menu button. Select the sign. Release the key. And resume playing. Critical effects on Geralt. The mage has dealt the incineration critical effect to Geralt. The Witcher will take additional damage as long as the effect remains active. Both positive and negative effects remain active for a specific time. Effect duration is displayed at the top of the screen. So list of effects is bleeding, blinding, incineration, freezing, poisoning, and intoxication. Low vitality. The mage has dealt significant damage with his spell. Your vitality is represented by the red bar in the upper left corner of the screen. It's dangerously low. When your vitality is low, focus on defense and casting the quin sign to reduce the damage dealt to you by foes. Quin sign. The defensive quin sign absorbs damage dealt by you dealt by your foes. To reflect part of the absorbed damage back at your opponent acquires relevant ability. Quinn's sign halts all vigor regeneration. Well, I don't have any vigor right now. Uh, cast this magical Quinn. Shield yourself. I just picked Quinn. Oh, I guess I didn't pick Quinn. Quinn shield protects you from magical attacks. Uh, what the fuck is that? Axie. The Axie sign allows you to assume temporary control of your foe. Careful. Die. Aha. Uh -huh. Suck it. Is right. Right. At him. For the ring of gold in your pouches. Um, target is not working so well. Alright, Mr. Gargoyle. Cast the Axie sign at the summon gargoyle by pressing and holding B to take control. Oh, I gotta press and hold it. Aha, go get some! Yay, gargoyle! The Yarden. The Yarden sign is a magical trap that is traced out on the ground. Yarden traps immobilizes opponents. Use them to trap foes and attack them from behind, or to buy time to flee if a fight is not going as planned. Alright. Fish Gargoyle off with a fiery Igni. Oops. Igni. Fireball with those things, bitch. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh look, a box. Quick slot items. Open the inventory, place item in the quick slot. Uh, in the panel, drag select the item like bombs, traps, daggers, and lures to the quick slot in the upper right corner of the screen. Once you leave the inventory, the items you selected will appear in the quick menu from which they can be easily accessed. Retrieve item from the chest. Place the bomb, traps, and daggers retrieve on your quick slots. Let's see here. Trap. Quick slot number one. Quick slot number two. Well balanced dagger. Quick slot number three. Left trigger. Bring up the quick menu. Select the item you want to use. Confirm your choice by closing the quick menu. Let's go with the Sanium Bomb. Select the bomb from the quick slots and use them to defeat your foes. Right button to cast the bomb. Press and hold the right button to aim precisely, then release the button to cast. Select the bomb from the quick menu. I did. Ah! <laughs> ah, that's pretty cool. You aim these things. Select the trap from the quick slot item. Use them to defeat your foe. Press right button to place the trap. There is no limit to the number of traps you can place. Come and get me. Ha 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 Suck a nut. Select the dagger from the quick slot and use them to defeat your foes. Press right button to throw the dagger. Press and hold right button to aim precisely on how to, to throw the dagger. Okay, there we go. Now I'm locked on. And we aim the dagger in your face. Haha, -ha, got you, bitch. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Character development. Over the first six levels, you will only be able to unlock abilities from the training path. As you acquire more talents, you will be able to spin them in the abilities on the three remaining paths. The three remaining paths. Magic, alchemy, and swordsmanship. Your character has advanced to the next level. Open the character development panel to acquire new abilities now. Mutagens. Mutagens can be used to modify some of Geralt's abilities. To use a mutagen, go to the character development panel and find an ability with the mutagen slot on the training path. Place the mutagen in the slot to upgrade that ability. Search the corpses for slain monsters to find more mutagens. Enter the character training path panel. Talent from above. Uh, character. Let's go here. Um, let's go with Vigor Regeneration. Yay, us. All right, let's see. Enter the character development panel, spend your talents and available. I did that. It said I had zero talent. Enter the other panel and spend all your available talents on abilities from the training. Okay, I am confused because that's what I just did. Character. Training. 
Ability. Why? No, those are attributes. That's alchemy. Um. I, I did that. I'm a little bugged out. What the hell? I did that. I don't know what to do now. Hardness. <laughs> it seems to be bugging out. So, uh... I'm not sure what all it wants me to be doing right now. So we will see how this works, honestly. Because it's not doing what I want it to do. I have no more po no more stuff. I don't have any more talents. I used it. I am not really sure what it wants me to do. Character development panel. I did that. That's this. I select Witcher training path. Ah, oh, hell, I don't know. All right, so I'm sorry about this, but I had all this recorded and somehow managed to lose the audio file. But I managed to find the mutagen that I was missing here, as you can see, and went through the tutorial to finish. Unfortunately, there's not going to be any commentary while I do this process and beat the crap out of these guys. But you guys can feel free to watch me get my ass kicked if you guys are up for it. If not, move on to the part two and I'll have actual gameplay as we start the process over again. Thanks. And again, I apologize for screwing up. Bye.